Well, good morning, folks. Welcome back to Dave's Allotment Garden. I thought I'd start in the greenhouse today because I've been shopping. Good old Wilkinson's. I've got myself some shallots and some onion sets because it's about time to crack on. First of all, though, kettle time. Season a bit. Right, that's better, copper. Ah, always start the day as you mean to go on, now that kind of thing. Right, while the kettle was boiling there, I was just setting up the pot and bench. So, come on, let's go and sow some onions. Right, as you can see here, I've got my compost ready. Now, this is the first time I've used this compost. It's uh, clover gold. Expensive stuff. But you've got to give the seeds and what you sow the best start in life. So basically I'm just giving it a little bit of a sieve through my hands. Get rid of all of the big bits. And then there uh, I've got these polystyrene cups here. Use these for a change. They are getting chucked out. I've got thousands of them so I might as well put them to good use. And it's quite easy to put the holes in these. I've just got a nail. Poke a few holes in. Couple on the bottom for good luck. There, that's one cup sorted, ready to get planting. So I'm just going to fill them up to the top. Now I, I always start my onion sets off in these size cups and they'll not leave this until they need to go out which will be when they're about this big and bursting at the seams. The, until then they'll stay in this greenhouse. Now these are from Wilkinson's. I don't, I usually get them from the allotment shop but I can it this year so I got them. These are stir on. I always have good success with these. So I'll just quickly show you one and get on with the rest. Always go through them first as well. Make sure they're all nice and firm. If there's any rotten ones, obviously chuck them in the bin. Stick them on the fire pile, whatever you do. Right, these look quite good. Nice and uh, healthy looking things there. So, like I say, I'll, I'll pick this one because it's the biggest. There's the cup. Stick the onion in. Now, like I say, that'll stay in there in this greenhouse until it's about six inches tall and the roots are, are starting to come out the bottom. So, I'm going to crack on with them and I'll see you when I've done. Catch you in a bit. Right, as you can see, that's the onions done there. I was just going through them. As you do, make sure, like I said earlier, you should know this. But if you don't know this, just check. Make sure they're nice and firm. You don't want to put any, like this one here has sprouted and it's a bit mushy. And this one here is mush. You don't want to plant them. So I'll put them in this, uh, let's shift that over to there. Put them in this tray here because you want to water from the bottom. Avoid watering from the top because it's, it's not good really. You don't want to, uh, shock anything so i'll get on with the shallots i'm not just going to plant 20 onions as well folks the um, successional soil and all that 20 this week 20 two weeks later and 20 two weeks later after that so we'll just keep going every two weeks get 20 more sown that's the way i do it anyway but they'll stay in these pots until they have to go out because it's too like for example, let's see if I can find one. 
here we are sorry about that folks i've seen people putting the onion sets in these trays uno dos trays in those trays well that's no good by the time they need to go out that's not enough i mean look look that nearly goes to the bottom of the thing anyway so there's going to be half an inch of soil that's no good what you need is something where it's going to be able to grow and stay there until it needs to go out so the cups are perfect now to get on with the shallots but first of all as you can see my cup has empty so i'm going to have a cup of season a bit right so now it's time for the put on some shallots now this is the first time I've used this compost folks and uh, I'm quite impressed clover gold it's uh, added it's got added wetting agent and perlite and it's quite nice better than some of the other stuff you you get these days anyway that's enough of that now ideally you want to be putting your shallots into a pot about that big but i've only i can only find one of these at the minute so i've just filled up these cups and uh what i'll do is go through get some small ones put them in there because like i said about the onions then they need a good bit of space to grow you know it's pointless just putting them in little seed modules they're, they're far too big for that you want them to grow not be like uh, restricted growth and all that try to think of that word there folks restricted growth so I filled up 10 of these I'll go through find the smallest ones for now and then when I get some more bigger cups I'll put them in there huh, they're all quite good size now you know what a nightmare there that one's a bit smaller there so they're just the same as the onions they'll stay in these pots and well I don't know these might have to be potted on into bigger pots but the ones that will be grown in this size pot I'll do it I'll do one now just for demonstrational purposes hi it's good soil it's like good compost folks that's a bit expensive I it was about six pound fifty for fifty liters but you want to give your your plants the best start in life i suppose it's pointless using really bad compost so that feels a bit mushy that one i'll leave it to one side yeah that's a nice one there so that there will stop in this size pot till it's ready to go out which isn't isn't yet folks hold back it's far too cold i mean onions can you know they don't mind a little bit cold weather but they, they wouldn't like to be planted out straight into the soil at this time of year You've got to hold back your plants will thank you for it at the end of the day so anyway i'm just going to get on with this i'll crap on season a bit right it's four o'clock now it's uh, getting dark i want to do one more job before i go but for now here is the onions and shallots i've just made a little propagating frame type thing because it's uh, still a little bit cold give them give them the best start now nah, lat. so there there i've got this tray i've just watered from the bottom like i say because you don't want to keep watering from the top the, the roots want to search for the water you see and uh, I filled this up with tepid water from from the watering can I filled it up 
last week it's been in the greenhouse it's you know as tepid as what it can get at this time of year anyway this is that pot and compost and look at this those have to put a picture of like either an old bloke or a young bane that looks black and white look at it in the olden days and all that why do they do that if it works it works it doesn't matter what you do with it anyway there's one job I want to do before it gets too dark and that is get some of that cow manure and put it into this new raised bed here this is going to be for potatoes I think I'll get some canny goodens in there no doubt so I'll crack on with that I've also been getting some of the soil from the Hugel culture bed which I'm taking down and I've filled that up nice big pot I want to get a clematis or something there so it'll grow along the grow along there nicely should look any good so I'm going to crack on get some of this cow manure into the barra and get in, into that new raised bed there check me out now lad posh raised bed now lad <laughs> right what a load of shade season a bit right folks it's uh, starting to get dark now so I'll quickly show you around what I've been doing I'm gonna have a quick cup of before I go as well so I'll just quickly spin you around so I've just been shoveling some of that manure into the raised bed over there I'll show you that in a minute but while I've been doing it I've been pondering things now this side of the garden has got white rot so this year my onions are going to go where the green manure is we'll give it a good test there but since this bed hasn't had any green manure on I'm going to put some cow manure on there and have this whole bed for not all for onions like but we'll see what the difference between the cow manure and the green manure over the coming seasons now nah, lot so that'll be something to look forward to won't it folks <laughs> um, Aye, onions will be going here somewhere, cabbages, what have you, down here, potatoes over there. That's my plan anyway, but it's pointless writing things down because plans change all the time. I'm not bothered going back in the greenhouse, It's uh, I've showed you what I've been doing in there today. So this, like I say, it's going to be potatoes, I think. I might have an experimental bed of potatoes, leeks and onions. See if I can get enough for a, a, a broth. <laughs> Potato, leek and onions into a, into a broth. Anyway, that should do it. I'm going to fill the rest of it up with the soil from the Hugel culture bed, which is there. So that'll be champion, hopefully. And like I say, I've filled that tub up there with some soil and get something grown up there some sort of clematis maybe who knows right this kettle should be boiled by now oh I'll just quickly show you this folks I'll take you off the tripod there's uh, a little few signs of spring coming let me have a look there's a tulip there's some tulips coming up folks but what I have noticed is there's hardly any daffodils now planted loads in here so where are they I think the squirrels have had them the only ones that are left are here in Annie's little plot so they're starting to come a sign of things to come that uh, the beanum I think it's called that's looking canny there as well so I'll quickly get this cup around the go and I'll see you in a bit. So folks, it's begun. Sown seeds. Next time it'll be cabbages and stuff like that. So roll on, roll on spring. Not be long now. I'm just gonna finish this cupper, get myself home, and all that kind of thing. So until the next time, folks, take care. Don't forget to comment, like and subscribe and all that kind of thing. It's much appreciated as ever. Cheers. <coughs> Pardon me. <laughs> Cheers. Bye now.